Hey guys, this is Grant from Cool Trains in Montreal. And I just wanted to show off the box that came here with my AMT train set. And uh, I thought it was a really great packaging. Uh, I'm not here to unbox the, the trains because that's uh, what other people will do. But I just wanted to show this uh, great box off, this great graphic. Uh, I've seen it done for HO scale. Mm, wasn't sure what I was going to get for the end scale. Probably the same thing, but I just really liked it, and it was really cool. It's the uh, the um, train that actually operates, too, on the Two Mountains line. You can see that it's running on the Two Mountains line. It's got the catenary in the background over there. Uh, I'm not sure what station this would be at, that where they took this, um, but it's really great. And I these trains actually did run under catenary. Um, so... This picture is pretty accurate. Um, what I really like about these trains though, for my perspective, is that I don't have a catenary system on my railroad, and yet I'm still gonna be able to run this this train because a lot of the time they run, you know, in Montreal without the wire anyway, so it's okay. So that's the box, it's really cool. And I just wanted to show the trains that I have here. So I have actually six cars. This is the uh, cab car. Let's see if I can put this around and kind of get a good view of it. Not too bad. And it's got good detail on it. These trains do have really good detail. I mean for end scale. I really like them. Yes, there's not closed coupling. I guess I could complain about that, but uh, I'm pretty sure the reasoning here is that most people have tight radius train sets and they can still um, kind of get away with this and say, look, uh, we want to give, you know, people with small railroads the opportunity to, to run these trains without, uh, without any kind of problems. I'd like them to be more close, uh, close uh, coupled, but you know what? End scale comes with the territory kind of thing. So you live with it. Here's the locomotive. Now, the detail on this for N scale is phenomenal. You can see even the small vents are there. Um, there's the uh, the, the, um, uh, the the thing that picks up the pantograph. Uh, it does actually reposition, but I haven't repositioned it, and I see no need to really because I, like I said, I don't have a catenary system, and I won't be using it that way. And these are the cars. Yeah, so as I said, I have six of them. The set comes only with two cars. And yeah, that's kind of a bummer. So I bought a couple extra cars because I wanted a six, a six car train set. And uh, the, it's not cheap, that's for sure. So, um, but I haven't bought trains in a long, long, long time. I, these are probably the new, the, 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 the last time I bought trains was probably a year and a half ago. So I can justify this by saying, look, <laughs> I haven't bought them in a very, very long time. And this is a prototype that I really love. I ride these things every day. So, I mean, it's, I live in Montreal. So how could I not get this basically? Anyways, I will make a video at some later point where I'm running this uh, locomotive up and down this little uh, train set. I've heard some people say that these locomotives won't pick up uh, cars, like it's uh, slow and the motor's not uh, not very powerful. Um, these loco locomotives, like most uh, models, probably need to be broken in, so I would say run it around an oval, you know, for two, three hours each uh, way, backwards and forwards. Because the motors do need to be broken in. And once that happens, try it again and see how many cars you can pull. I'm pretty sure, you know, most Atlas products are pretty good. I've yet to come across one that's pretty bad. So um, I would say that uh, once it's broken in, this model, it should pull at least four cars. I, and these, these are nice free-rolling cars. They roll pretty well. I mean, I will kind of just unhook it. And just give you a, have to put back on the truck. See, these roll pretty well. So, and they're smooth. So I, I, I can't see why these cars, they're light as well. So I can't see why these cars would be a problem 
being pulled by the locomotive, like four or five, six cars. And uh, any more than that, well, either you're rich or, um, yeah, you just need two train sets because you're going to do like uh, what they do on the Dumontang line, run 10 cars and have two locomotives, which is cool if you can afford it. <laughs> Not for me. Anyways, just wanted to let you know, um, please subscribe uh, to the channel if you can and uh, have a good day. Bye.